Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 16 and the problem is related to the instantaneous center of zero velocity. So the problem statement says that determine the angular velocity of link AB at the instant shown if block C is moving upward at 12 inches per second. So we are required to find the angular velocity of this link AB. So we are required to find omega AB if this block C is moving up with a velocity of 12 inches per second. So let's define our coordinate system. So this is our coordinate system. Towards the right is the positive x. We can say that towards the right is our positive x and in the upward direction is our positive y. So we are going to solve this problem by finding the instantaneous center. So for that, the first step is that we need to find the direction of the velocities of point B and C. Or we need to find the sense of the velocities at point B and C. So for C, the velocity is acting in the upward direction. So this is uh, the free body diagram of link BC and this is link AB, which is represented by these two lines. So at C, block C is moving in the upward direction with 12 inches per second. So let me show it uh, here on the free body diagram of link BC. So we will have that velocity Vc equals to 12 inches per second. And for B, <coughs> if we think of, um, if we look for this link AB, so as we can see that um, this point b will move around a circular path about this fixed point a so its velocity will be tangent to the path of point b or we can say that um, the velocity of b will be perpendicular to the radius of that circle and the radius of that circle is link ab so in other words we can say that if a point is moving about a fixed point in a circular path its velocity will always be uh, uh, perpendicular to that link AB which which will represent the radius of that circle about which this point B is traveling so we can say that the velocity of B is perpendicular to link AB so we need to show that uh, velocity of B on link AB the free body diagram of link AB so this will be the velocity of B and it is perpendicular to that link AB so now here we are given that with the vertical this link AB is making 45 degrees. So we can show that uh, angle here on the free body diagram of this uh, link AB. Um, let's say this is that. So here we have that angle 45. So as we can see that if this is link AB and this VB is making 90 degree and if this angle is 45 then this angle is 45 as well and if I draw a horizontal like this so this horizontal line is perpendicular with the pink line and VB is perpendicular with the blue line so if the angle between VB and the blue line is if the angle of VB and this pink line is 45 degree then the angle between the horizontal and the vb is 45 degree as well so we can say that vb is making uh 45 degree with the horizontal as well and it is making 45 degrees with the vertical as well so now since we know the direction of vb now we can draw this vb here at link pc as well so this link bc is given that it is making 30 degree with the horizontal so we have 30 degree angle here so let me show that um, link bc is making 30 degree with the horizontal and that velocity vb is making 45 degree so we can draw this vb and we can place it here this is that same vb which is making 45 degree so so this is that vb let's say let's make it a bit exaggerated the angle so this angle is now this angle is 45 and this is 30 so this means that that velocity vb is making 15 degree with link bc so we can say that this is vb and it is making 15 degree with link bc so now we need to find the instantaneous center so for instantaneous center we need to draw 
uh, two lines and that two lines should be perpendicular with vc and vb respectively so if we draw a horizontal like line like this so it will be perpendicular with vc and we need to draw one another line which should be perpendicular with vb like this so these two lines which are perpendicular with vb and vc they will intersect somewhere and that will be our instantaneous center so let's draw that those two lines so this line is perpendicular with vc and this line is perpendicular with vb and this is the intersection point so the ins intersection point is the instantaneous center of zero velocity and then uh, we can say that uh, since we know um, when we find the instantaneous center we think of this uh, point c is revolving about that uh, instantaneous center in a circular path and similarly we think of this point b is of revolving about that instantaneous center in a circular path as well so <clears throat> the, this point c is going to revolve about the instantaneous center in the circular path and the radius of that circular path will be equal to this length so so we call this length we call this is uh, um position vector of c relative to instantaneous center so we can say that r of c i of c and we can draw that um if if i draw a vector like this so this will represent the position vector of c relative to an instantaneous center and similarly we can draw another vector like this and this will be the instantaneous center of b uh, sorry the position vector of b with respect to instantaneous center so now when this block c moves in the upward direction like this point b will move along a circular path like this so let's say that after some instant t this point b is somewhere here and this point c is somewhere here so this will be the next configuration of that link bc and link ab will look like this so as we can see that um, this link bc will have a counterclockwise angular velocity if this is the previous configuration so if if i draw this previous configuration like this and if we think of if let's say this is the previous configuration and this is uh, after some time t so we can see that um, this point c has moved up and this point b has moved downward so there is a counterclockwise uh, angular velocity of this link bc so we can say that link bc has some angular velocity in the counterclockwise direction so now uh, as we think of this point b and c they are um, revolving about that instantaneous center in a circular path and then we think that for a given instant this link bc is revolving about um, this instantaneous center so then we can say that that velocity of c will be equal to this um, r of c instantaneous center times omega bc and since vc is given which is 12 inches per second so to f to f uh, to find that uh, omega ab we need to find omega bc right let me let me write vb we can write for from the instantaneous center we can write vb is r of b instantaneous center and omega bc and once we find this vb magnitude once we find this vb magnitude using the instantaneous center then for the link ab we can write vb equals to omega ab or we can say that the length of ab which is the radius for the path of this point b revolving about that point a so the length of ab is 5 times omega ab so first of all from this we need to find omega bc and to find omega bc we need to find this distance and once we find omega bc we need to find this r, r of b instantaneous center and that will give us vb and once we find vb we will be able to find omega ab so now the questions 
uh, everything comes to find the magnitude of this and the magnitude of this so using the geometry we can find that r of c i of c and r of b i of c so now as we can see that uh, since this vb is making 90 degree with this line so this is 15 degree so 90 plus 15 is 105 so this angle is 105 so we can show that this whole angle is 105 degrees and one thing we can always find the angle here by finding by knowing the angle between these two velocity vectors so let's say if, if i copy this vc and if i place it here let's say let's say this is that same v of c and we copy this uh, vb and paste it somewhere here and let's say now is we know that this is that vb and it is making um, 45 degree with the horizontal from here and we see is vertical so the angle between vb and the vertical is 45 degrees so this means that vb and vc they are making 45 degree angle with each other and now as we know that this line this line is perpendicular with vc and this line is perpendicular with vb so that if the angle between vb and vc is 45 degree then the angle between this line and this line is 45 degree as well so now we know that this is this angle is 45 degree as well so now once we know this angle if this is 105 this is 45 then this angle is 180 let's say this angle is let's say theta so we can say that uh, 45 plus 105 degrees plus theta equals to 180 degrees and theta is equal to 180 minus 45 minus 105 so we can say so this is 30 and it is obvious that since this bc this is bc and this bc is making 30 degrees so this and so this angle and this angle both of these angles are alternate angles so we so we should have written this angle before right so this angle is 30 degrees so now we know all the three angles so we can apply the law of uh, sines since we know this is that bc length and length and bc has a length, length of four inches so we know bc length so we can use the law of sines to find this and to find this so now we can write that bc which has a length of four inches so four divided by the sine of the opposite angle so sin opposite angle is 45 so four divided by sine of 45 is equal to r of c i of c divided by the sine of the opposite angle so this is r of c i of c and the opposite angle is 105 so sine of 105 and similarly we can write 4 divided by sine of 45 equals to r of b divided by i of c and the sine of the opposite angle so this is r of b i of c and the opposite angle is 30 so sine of 30 so these two equations will give us our required r of c i of c and r of b i of c so from this equation we can write that r of c i of c is equal to 4 sine of 105 divided by sine of 45 and similarly r of b i of c is equal to 4 sine of 30 divided by sine of 45 so now we have these three equations so once we know this we can find omega bc so from this equation let's say this is equation one this is equation two and this is equation three so from equation one we can write that omega bc is equal to 12 divided by r of c i of c so let's find r of c i of c which is uh, 4 sine of 105 divided by sine of 45 which gives us 5.464 so this is this is 5.464 inches so here this is 12 divided by 5.464 so we can say that 12 divided by answer gives us 2.19 so omega bc is 2.196 radian per second 
and similarly we can find r of b relative to instantaneous center which is 4 sine of 30 divided by uh, sine of 45 so this is r of b relative to instantaneous center is 2.828 inches and similarly using that equation 2 uh, we can write that we b is equal to r of b i of c into omega b c so this is omega b c this is 2.196 this will give us we b so this answer multiplied by 2.196 which is 6.211 and this will be inches per second this is we b and once we know we b for link a b we b is five the radius is five times omega a b which is the angular velocity of link a b so we were asked to find this omega a b now we know we b magnitude so we can say that five omega a b which is we b is equal to 6.211 from here and omega a b is equal to 6.211 divided by 5 so this answer divided by 5 gives us 1.242 1 1.242 radian per second so this is the required solution of the problem i hope all this this discussion will help you in solving the problems for the instantaneous center of zero velocity let me know in the comments if this helps and do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Engineering Dynamics by Hebler.